everyone it's been a while since uh, I've said this I uh, wanted to concentrate more on my uh, POV videos but um, I think today we have the right occasion to um, make another vlog video we are right now in the city of Kearney New Jersey and I'm on my way to pick up a load in the city of Jersey City New Jersey as you can see uh, at the horizon we'll see now in just a little bit after the bridge there is uh, Manhattan Jersey City is uh, the uh, city right across Hudson River from Manhattan so it's really close to New York and also it's very crowded it's very similar to New York to US one truck north. and um, the reason I've decided to record this video is because we're going to pick up an oversized load there it's 10.6 foot wide which is uh, it's very big, like not very, Keep very big, but uh, US one truck north. bigger than I usually carry. I've done one of those last week and I thought I wasn't going to do another one because uh, it was a little bit scary. But uh, minutes, after all, I managed to bring right it to, to Chicago safely and, uh, because they paid pretty good. I've, decided to go and take another one and uh, record that so we should be there in just a few minutes and I will show you what's going on we'll see you there here I want <coughs> here I wanted to show you a little bit of this uh, near New York craziness Look at the streets. Continue on the road. And uh, just wow. Okay, so right ahead in front of us is uh, Holland Tunnel. <coughs> it's one of the tunnels that connects uh, New Jersey to New York City. And all these uh, cars are going to New York. Trucks are not uh, permitted into the tunnel because of the low clearance. And the uh, first time I got here I was very scared. 
I thought my GPS is going crazy, taking me somewhere. But uh, as it turns out, uh, the pickup site is somewhere right there. slide we need to make a right and we have a whole bunch of cars on our right we need to try and squeeze in there Take that lane to make a wide turn, and uh, well, doesn't seem very keen to allow me to do that. But I'll just need to wait because uh, otherwise I'm not gonna make it. Let's pull in front of this Honda. Okay, thank you. Good, thank you. <coughs> it is uh, a lot easier when you're uh, here for the second time. First time was a lot more stressful because I had no idea where I was going. Arriving at 128 18th Street on the left. They told me last time I could run over them. I didn't know. <clears throat> All right, let's, uh, let's try and get in there. Oh, it seems like they didn't react to my arrival. here they had like plenty of those this seems to be the last one uh, you can see how big it is oh they're actually 
actually two this time around. These are the uh, barges that we pick up. Looks like there are two of them today. Uh, gonna get them loaded and then I'll show them to you. I'd like to go outside and uh, show you the process from outside, but they're not allowing me to. I'm not allowed to step outside while they're loading. Alright, so this is our load. We can see how far it's sticking out. Uh, it's about a foot and a little bit each side. And then it has these hooks. going to be a little bit of fun carrying this stuff around but uh, yeah I guess we'll manage I'll uh, try to strap it down real quick and get going I wanted to show you the uh, surrounds around here a little bit these are the New York trains getting parked here and this channel that's uh, coming up from uh, Hudson River which separates New Jersey from New York somewhere down there so the buildings we see all the way down there are uh, Manhattan already if you look closely like behind those uh, metal stuff you can see the one world center towering there so yep that's what it is I'll strap it down real quick and then we'll get going all right we are ready the signs are up the flags are up The load is strapped down tightly. Everything is ready to go. Gonna go and buy the oversized permits. Gonna take me like 30 minutes to buy them and print them out. And then we'll start rolling. All right, guys, we are loaded. <coughs> permits are purchased. Everything is ready to go. We have just a couple more or less uh, stressful turns where I need to be careful not to hit anything and then we'll be on the interstate and it should get easier. I'm gonna try and show you my mirrors so you can see how uh, tight some of the turns are.
seems like this uh, has have really been the very last ones. Last week when I've been here, the uh, whole yard was full of those uh, barges. They had some in the water and on the uh, side they had plenty of those and uh, I suppose they shipped them all Turn left at the traffic light, during then last take week. The third right. And uh, this was probably the very last load they had. And I got the honor to pick it up. I hope uh, everything goes smoothly as it went with the first one. Last week I wanted to share that experience with you, but my uh, camera didn't work. I had some problem and uh, I don't know if you're noticing, but uh, I just got a new one. I hope uh, the uh, video and sound quality will become better. You can let me know if you can notice the difference. Yeah, the, the point was that uh, I wanted to share last week with you because uh, I had a lot more emotions than now. I'm probably like uh, more calm because I've just uh, drove with a similar load just three days ago and I kind of feel more confident. But. Uh, Last week I was really nervous, first like 100 miles. I felt like my trailer was so big that I was going to crush everything around. We're still gonna have a couple tight uh, spots and I'm gonna show them to you. But uh, overall should not be. The whole uh, recipe or a secret when you haul such loads is to uh, always right stay in your own lane, not wiggle around too much and allow other cars and trucks uh, in traffic to just uh, keep their distance. Because if you try to Continue wiggle around and avoid other people, like you'll avoid this one, you'll hit the other one. So you better just keep steady and let other people uh, just uh, drive around you.
think if you pause and look closely, you can even see the Statue of Liberty somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's right there. It's probably gonna be small on these two left lanes. All right, so this is the first uh, toll booth I was talking about. This one is not as narrow. Like, I mean, if I go through the middle, it it's pretty narrow but uh, usually the very far right side is uh, designed for oversized loads so it's a little bit wider but anyway you can see how close I need to get to uh, those walls show you a little bit more of the uh, Newark, New Jersey surroundings, like a very old draw railroad bridge over there and then uh, there's the port of Newark, all the cranes, all the crazy port stuff going on and uh, going to be crossing a bridge right now to use the far Keep right lane to I I'll need Express to cross rest. this whole thing which I'm not gonna do it's, it would be crazy so I have to go through this and this is insanely narrow I, it feels like I'm going to take this boost with me that narrow just just watch Just look how close it is. It's just centimeters, inches. 
and on this side it's even closer all right made it through and this was the very last tight spot we had to go through <coughs> from here uh, freedom we can just uh, relax and drive all the way to Chicago and that's what I intend to do are down I had a can of starter fluid I don't know if you're familiar with that it's a spray that you use to start your engine when it's very cold and it got it got jammed in between two boxes and it sprayed the whole can in the truck before I managed to stop on the shoulder and uh, throw it away and uh, that thing is very toxic it smells bad and it's very like, intoxicating so I had to open all my windows and it's uh, 34 Fahrenheit 0 Celsius outside so um, this is how we do it I'm airing my truck out so I don't get uh, sick from inhaling the, those uh, vapors of that spray so uh, unexpected adventure that's how the road looks like at night I'm uh, kind of supposed to stop already You're not supposed to drive the oversize uh, after dark but uh, the nearest truck stop is 23 miles away I have to get there have no other place to stop so uh, this is the latest news uh, we'll see you there we are approaching the uh, delivery site this is uh, the south side of Chicago the fully industrial Chicago with the uh, port Bridges, all this stuff. There is Torrance Avenue, which is the most industrial part of Chicago. There are all the large factories, steel factories, stuff like that. And I've decided to try and uh, deliver today because uh, I'm arriving kind of in the middle of like. 350. I'm not even sure how late the company is open. But I'll, uh, I'll go there anyway because uh, because my uh, yard where I park is uh, located all uh, farther north and uh, that side of Chicago called uh, Cook County and uh, Cook County is considered like uh, the most densely populate, populated part of Chicago with the suburbs and stuff and uh, you cannot carry a uh, oversized load through there like it's restricted all the time so I could not take this load to the yard and then back so I'm going to the company, we'll see if they're open today, I'll get unloaded today and go home. If not, then uh, I'll have to wait there until tomorrow. We're gonna find out pretty soon. Alright, so here we are arriving to our destination. This is the yard where uh, we're going to get unloaded. This is going to be the moment of truth when we get there and see if it's open or not. Uh, 
Hi, is uh, receiving still open? You're trying to look, what is it that you're... Uh, barge segment, two of them. Uh, I'm not that lucky after all. Uh, they are closed. But they're going to unload us uh, tomorrow morning and they are uh, allowing me to uh, drop my trailer. So, uh, at least something positive. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the trailer. That's done. Gonna go ahead and uh, take off all the straps and signs because I'm not gonna need them anymore, at least tomorrow. And uh, the guy said they'll be here at six tomorrow and uh, get the stuff unloaded. I'll try to be here around six too. Uh, and yeah, here are the barges. So those, uh, look how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve in each row, and there are like five rows, sixty. And they have like, uh, see on one side they have the hooks, and on one side they have the holes. So they kind of hook together and you can build a whole huge floating uh, platform that you can uh, load stuff on. Each of those is one truckload. One of those is uh, the one I brought last week. I don't know which one it is. Beautiful sunset on top of the barges. And uh, with this beautiful view, I think we conclude our trip and we will see you at the next one. Take care.